Hi zusammen, wir sind hier mit Morco bei Rock am Ring 2023. Ich habe bei mir Jeremy Baum von uh, Touche Amore. Thank you for being here, Jeremy. Um, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Uh, we were uh, uh, talking, I, we just got in yesterday. Yeah. So uh, I'm good, all things considered. Mm -hmm. I got some sleep last night, so <laughs> I'm in a good spot. <laughs> all right. This is your first time at uh, Rock am Ring. Uh, what are your first impressions? Are you excited to play the show? I'm excited, yeah. I yeah. haven't had a chance to see the stage or anything mm. like that. We uh, we got here mm. and immediately ran to eat. <laughs> so we went to the catering area yeah. and uh, ate, ran into some friends there. Um, one of our really good friends, mm. Mm. Uh, Jake, is doing sound for Silverstein. So we yeah. saw him, he toured with us in the US and then uh, mm. saw some of the guys in Rise Against mm. who we have a good relationship with. Oh, nice. So it's. I feel like that's like, If I had to pick my favorite part about doing the European yeah. festival thing, it's like the reunions that you yeah. experience like in the catering many area, friends. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Ah, so, that's beautiful. Yeah, nice. So, so far, it's been, a, it's been a lovely day, but I <laughs> yeah. haven't really experienced any of the mm. actual festival mm. yet. So uh, which songs ca uh, can we expect from your set? Which albums? <laughs> so we're now a few years removed from yeah. our last album, Lament. So we kind of looked at this as an opportunity for this summer tour to just be like, let's just play something for off every record. Mm. So we're actually playing a lot of really, really old songs, okay. um, which we haven't played here probably in quite a while. So mm. there's going to be songs from Dead Horse, Parting the Sea, yeah. all, all that stuff. So yeah, <laughs> it's kind of all, all yeah. career, career spanning. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, is there a new album in progress? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> there should be, but we haven't started yet. That's the goal for the rest of the year when we get home is to actually start. We were yeah. supposed to start earlier this yeah. year, but uh, we're procrastinators. <laughs> That's okay. <Yeah. laughs> we're patient. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Next to the band, you're also um, having a podcast. Um, is there any uh, particular guest you would like to have on your podcast? Ooh, that's a great question. <laughs> um, sure. Uh, there's like a ton of people that I'd be excited to talk mm. to. I sometimes get nervous when it comes to someone who has, uh, who's like maybe so famous that yeah. there's like no way that what <laughs> I'm going to ask isn't things that yeah. they've answered a million times. Like this festival has Foo Fighters. Like yeah. would I, would I love to interview Dave Grohl? <laughs> like absolutely. <laughs> But like anything I'm going to ask him, he's probably been asked a yeah. hundred times. So in that regard it's kind of nice to have yeah. people that um are a little bit newer mm -hmm. and younger or like still mm -hmm. their careers are still growing um but yeah i mean dave Grohl would certainly yeah. <laughs> be, i'm not going to turn that down <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, i'd love to hear it <laughs> yeah, yeah. um what was the funniest moment that ever happened on the podcast <laughs> oh that's oh i don't know yeah. um i don't know about funny uh there's For me, a big highlight of doing the show is mm. when I'm doing research mm. and learning new things mm. that I didn't really know about yeah. somebody, like something just like, you know, that uh, would only come if you were doing a lot mm. of research and then getting to op the opportunity to like mm. ask them about yeah. that. And then sometimes you'll get a funny story from like <laughs> why this maybe yeah. happened, you know, um, or yeah. like finding out mm. that someone worked mm. on a record, maybe a producer. Yeah or something like that and then you'll get a good story mm. about like what it was like working with mm. that producer but nothing immediately comes yeah. to mind but um i do find myself mm. laughing a lot while doing the show so <laughs> i'm sure there's funny aspects in there mm. um you're also a big record collector yeah uh when you're over here in uh, germany or any mainland eu country uh, are there any favorite record stores you have over here oh that's a good question um uh in Berlin, there's uh, Bissoff Messer, which mm -hmm. is uh, owned by a gentleman named Robert, who um, we've known for a very, very, very long time. Mm -hmm. um, he runs a great label, too. Uh, so every, anytime we're in Berlin, I try to go mm -hmm. there. But um, yeah, when we're doing a club <laughs> show in Germany, after we've loaded in and I've eaten something, like I just look at my phone and whatever store <laughs> within a couple miles I'm going to walk to. <laughs> It's like a nice way for me yeah. to... Uh, sort of clear mm. my head and go on a nice walk and then also yeah. get to turn my brain off and just look through records. So <laughs> there's a brilliant, there's a billion wonderful record stores in Germany. <laughs> Places to meet you on tour besides the shows, oh, <laughs> record <absolutely>. stores. Yeah. <laughs> If you're trying to say hi to me at yeah. some point, just check your local record stores. Mm -hmm. What was the uh, uh, last recent uh, record you bought? Um, what's the last record I bought? Um, I just got mm. uh, the 
the live Black Country New Road album. Oh, um, great band. Great yeah, band. they're great. Yeah. Uh, I bought that and I bought... Uh, what's the other thing I bought? Because um, there's something else that had just come out. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and... Oh, they just reissued the uh, this band, Ex- the Exploding Hearts. They mm-hmm. just uh, reissued their record uh, that came out in the early 2000s. So I'd been yes. wanting that on vinyl, and it's like mm-hmm. one of those records that goes for a ton of money. Mm-hmm. So the fact that it was mm-hmm. uh, reissued was exciting. Mm-hmm. So I picked those two up. Yeah. Nice, nice. Um, if you could reunite one band, which band would it be? <laughs> God, that's a. There's a lot of bands. Uh, I'm going to go with my heart here. Uh, like anyone would, you could say like anyone a lot of people would be like minor threat but like <laughs> I, yeah. as cool as that would be yeah I, i don't it would be against their will yeah so like i don't know that they would be happy about that um there's yeah. a band from canada that means a whole lot to me that i love mm. so much they're called cursed they okay. had put out uh their reissue, their reissue records can't all mm. came out on death wish yeah um but they're one of my favorite bands in the entire mm. world uh one of the best hardcore bands mm. um out of canada that's for mm. sure but yeah they mean a lot to me and i love yeah. that band ah nice <laughs> all right um are there any bands you're excited to check out here at rock'em ring uh i would love to see foo fighters yeah. i would love to see mashuga um those are the two that come to mind mm. immediately but as uh our one of our guitar players flew in this morning yeah. So something tells me we're probably not going to be at the festival that late. <laughs> that man needs to sleep. Uh, but we'll see. You know, there's there's definitely uh, some some great stuff happening here. Nice. I'm ho- hoping you're having a great time over here. So uh, yeah, thank you for your time and yeah, have a awesome. good time here. Have Appreciate a great it. show. Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm.